analogous colors. So I've got my green and then I've got yellow and I've got blue. So they're next to each other on the color wheel because these two colors together mix to make my green, okay? Um, I'm using a pair of scissors and I'm just shredding them, breaking off little chunks. I'm gonna do some of the green. This is kind of a yellow green. We have color wheels up all over the room if you need to double check to make sure that your colors, what you don't wanna do is complementary colors together because what do you know when you get, brown. you get brown, right? There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not gonna be this like really bright, vibrant, mono print, heat-based mono print. Okay, and I'm gonna cut up some of my, this is more of a yellow orange, kind of a mac and cheese color. So you don't need a ton. I'm gonna put up the edge of my foil so it doesn't blow away. This is a heat gun. This is not, it's gonna be hotter than a hair dryer, but not as hot as an iron, okay? There's a little switch on the back to turn it on. And I'm gonna turn it on. I'm using the corner of the foil to make sure that it doesn't blow away. And I'm allowing those pieces to melt and move. I'm not getting right on top of it. Notice I'm about six inches away. So I'm letting those pieces of wax kind of dance across the foil. Okay, turn that off. I'm gonna get a piece of paper, printing paper, like we were using yesterday. I'm gonna decide where I want it. I think maybe I'm going to place it here. I'm going to get another piece of aluminum foil. Place it on top. I'm going to take my iron. The iron is on and hot. I'm not really going to move it. I'm just going to let it sit right on top for about five to 10 seconds where my paper is. If I need to move it, I can lift it and put it back down. I'm not sliding it because I don't want to tear the aluminum foil because I do not want to get wax on the iron. If you get wax on the iron, I can't use it on clothes and stuff like that after for other projects. So I can take a peek at the back to see if it melted. Definitely melted. So again, this is mono print. I can't make something exactly like this ever again. Okay. So the thing with this is this is made out of wax. It is still hot. It doesn't dry, it cools, right? Because that's what made it liquid. And it dries in maybe like 10 seconds. Like it's pretty much cool now. And then wax and water don't mix. So over at that table or at the counter, I have set up some of the liquid watercolor. It's a pretty intense watercolor. And I'm gonna go with kind of a complimentary color. Um, I've got the yellow and greens and stuff like that. So I'm going to go with a warm color and paint the background and it is going, the wax is going to resist. As you see, it kind of beads up on top of the wax. Okay. Like crayon. It, yeah. It doesn't mix at all. It, um, it allows you to get like a really cool background. So this is a mixture of painting, mono printing and using both heat and pressure to create an image. Um, these are abstract. These could look like, imagine like something like this, like five feet by five feet on a wall could look really cool. Um, this could be a nice like front of a greeting card. You know, it's open to interpretation. It's definitely abstract. It's not representational of anything. And you really are kind of giving up a little control. You can pick the colors, but you can't really control how it turns out. Okay. So we're going to be doing that. Um, we're good.